everybody. We're gonna take the Arma Creighton 6S out for a rip. It has been a while, so bring her on down here. There it is right there. So we're gonna take that out, be doing it as much as we can today. It's been about a month since I've ran the Arma Creighton 6S, and this thing rips. I love running this thing, so uh, let's give her a whirl today. My tires are a bit shot on this thing right here. I don't know if you can see, so uh, the uh, bead is pulling away from the uh, rim a little bit. That's okay, so uh, there's probably not gonna be much left of these tires. Let me know what you guys think. Has anybody out there ever put the Outcast tires on the uh, Creighton 6S? And if you have, let me know how they work because these copperheads, they seem to be a little bit too soft for my liking, you know, especially running it on 6S. So uh, let me know in the comments what tires you run on your Creighton 6S. Be much appreciated to let me uh, know what you guys run. Help me out a lot. Thank you. So also on this video, I want to talk a little bit about monster trucks. Get a lot of questions out there. You know, what's it like to do this or do that or do this? Damn smudge on this lens. So I'm going to answer a few questions in monster trucks. Nothing that anybody in particular really asked me. It's just about, you know, like what's it like to do a backflip? What's it like to do a wheelie and roll over, blah, blah, blah. So we're going to throw a little bit of that in here as well. Enjoy the video, guys. And let's start beating the hell out of this thing. Start this thing off with a few jumperoos right here on this small jump. Thing's expensive. It's a toy, but it's expensive. He's all right. Oh, 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 my son's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be pissed. So I think we're gonna go to a different spot. We're gonna throw in the old dump truck right here. One thing that I get asked a lot is, what is it like to drive a monster truck? The only thing I can really describe it as is really like playing a video game and getting into a car crash at the same time. So that's the only way I can really explain it. Sorry, this road gets a little rough here. When we go out there for a two minute freestyle, we could basically get, ooh, we could basically get into like 20 small car crashes in that two minutes of freestyle. That's what it feels like to our body. Constantly taking abuse to our bodies in the trucks. I mean the trucks land good to a certain extent But when you go big big air that you know the big air that everybody wants to see it starts to sting after a while guys You get around the 20 foot mark, you know when you land. I mean that she comes down pretty rough So here we are I think this should uh, definitely be a Pretty sweet spot to rip around got some materials down there. We got some plywood down there I can make uh, you know Jerry rig some jumps out of these things right here. These are wooden things and uh, we're gonna set it out there put some plywood up to it and jump it. wasn't good on it. Oh man. Got a couple sweet pieces of plywood here. Just going to Jerry rig us and jump together. Alrighty. Gonna take this wooden crate here, this crib, uh, this holds up construction office buildings and uh, that's what that is. Strong stuff. It's made of wood. It's gonna make a great ramp. Especially the way I build it. You know, and the key to any 
successful and great ramp in history. There's always plywood involved, usually somewhere in the design process. I'll tell you one of the funnest things to actually do in a monster truck is a slap wheelie. Just a good old fashioned slap wheelie. Jump, jump decently high. What I do is like to grab the brakes and uh, what you want to do is your front tire, your back tires need to land just before your front tires. So like a little boom. boom. As it's lifting, you're pretty far up in the uh, the pivot point, so it feels like you're just like getting set up just like that. Like a rocket setting up, getting ready to go to space, and it's one of the coolest feelings. You gotta remember where you're heading, so you have to visualize as you're getting ready to set the slap wheelie up about how far you have before you have to drop the slap wheelie. So super fun trick or move or whatever you call it in the monster truck. I love doing them, man. So uh, yeah, I figured I'd tell you that while uh, we wait for the little motor here to cool down because it's a pretty warm day and it's a pretty warm motor and I don't want to burn it up because that's all I've been doing with my RC motors lately, it seems like. All right, I think she's ready to go, folks. I can put my hand on the motor and it doesn't really burn it too much, so that's usually a good indication that it's not too hot. <laughs> Constantly running to film this stuff. You guys better be liking this. Tell you what, I got that RPM bumper on the front of there. If you guys got one of these, definitely put that RPM bumper on there. It, uh, it's definitely a lifesaver for sure. It's a pretty fun ramp to hit. I love sketchy ramps. There's something about a good sketchy ramp to get your blood flowing. Let's send this some b Paddlesworth 2021. I'm coming for you. Watch out, Kevin. <laughs> that actually jumped pretty smooth. I was surprised by that. It wafted it perfectly. You could control the backflip. That was actually a pretty decent jump on my part. All right, guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up right here. I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. She's still in working order. All the wheels are still on it. She's still in one piece. I truly appreciate all you guys. I know I say it in every video, but I truly, really mean it. If it wouldn't be for you guys dropping the like, subscribing, even if you're not subscribed and you're watching my videos, I appreciate that, I really do. Even the people that thumbs down. So let me know in the comments which RC you'd like to see me run next. The UDR, I gotta get a new motor for it. It's on its way. It should be here in a week or two. But let me know in the comments which RC you'd like to see next. And give me some ideas, you know? Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy now. But give me some ideas. I love you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Please share, like, subscribe. Tell your mama. Tell your grandmama. Catch you in the next video. Peace, y'all. Wow.